Coach McKenna, what kind of shape is your VNI team in for the Thanksgiving Day game? They're good, Joe. They're better off right now than we've been any time since our opener with George Washington University. We've lost the services of Pete Mazik permanently. He sustained an injury in the second game against Iowa State and has not been available since. Other than that, we have everybody ready. What can uh, VMI look for out of VPI this year? Of course, we know Swiker and Utz are uh, fine runners and good all-around ball players, but do you expect anything particularly different from what they have been doing? I don't think so. I, have, I know there's no reason why Coach Claiborne would make a change since he's been eminently successful. Their record stands at seven wins and two losses, and they've beaten some very substantial football teams. I think that if he were to alter his part of that fullback offense that it might, uh, it might boomerang on him. I don't expect that he will do so. Do you think that uh, the passing attack of VMI will be as effective as it has been in the past several games? Well, this is, this is questionable. We have in the past several weeks uh, made much of our passing attack. We scored two against Holy Cross via the Aliens, and we had a couple more against the Citadel. But uh, this also always has to be gauged in light of the opposition which you face. The VPI has a very fine pass defense. They uh, have a calculated blitz defense by their linemen and linebackers. And uh, you, you, you've got to be a little bit lucky to pass successfully against them. Well, can you make any prediction about the outcome of the game, sir? No, only that I expect it once more to be a very close game. I believe that since... Uh, 1957, there's only been one year when a margin of more than uh, six to seven points prevailed. Uh, I think that whichever team might be good enough on Thanksgiving Day to score three touchdowns will certainly win. Thank you, sir. Well, Jerry, it's often been said that bad practices uh, make good football games. I noticed that you had some good practices, and you've also had some that you weren't too happy with. So. Maybe the last year is not so good. I mean, you have a good game in Thanksgiving. Well, we certainly hope so, Joe. Uh, our week after the West Virginia game, we had some real good practices. And then the uh, early part of this week, uh, we had we just, the boys weren't concentrating or something. And uh, we were very dissatisfied with our practices. But when we got to thinking about it, after we came off the field, we thought maybe that the, uh, the funeral of uh, President Kennedy that had been watching on television might have had something to do with their frame of mind. I know the coaching staff was certainly thinking about it. And, of course, we were able and we went on the field to kind of get it off our mind. But maybe the players, uh, they weren't. And, and we did not have real good practice the early part of the week. And if that's the old saying, I hope it comes true because uh, we need to have real good games uh, for Turkey Day. I don't think you have any problem with morale, Jerry. How about physically? How do you shape up to the conditions? Oh, we, we're in pretty good physical condition. Uh, Ron Frank has uh, been limping a little bit, and uh, Dickie Kelly, a boy who got hurt before our uh, Richmond game, has been uh, uh, hurt quite a bit uh, with a leg, and he, he might be ready to play. I don't know whether he will or not. And then Lacey Edwards still has a uh, kind of a sore shoulder, but uh, Lacey will definitely play. And so I think that uh, if they respond, uh, we'll, we'll have about as good a physical condition we've been since the first year. Thank you, Coach Clayton.